What's up everybody? Nick and Matt here with Swap and today we're excited to announce the new series called Behind the Brand. Yup and on this first episode of Behind the Brand we're taking a deep dive with the owner of SIA Collective Devlin Carter. He's gonna be going over a pair of shoes he's got releasing around Halloween but before we hop into that video please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed it truly does mean a lot to us. And we are writing a blog with every single video we put out. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description below. But that's enough with all that, guys. Let's hop right into the video. What's up, guys? Devlin Carter here. And today we're going to talk about the Chucky Skates and the inspiration and the design behind them. Let's get into the design. So one thing about the whole Chucky thing, the coolest thing about him to me is his overalls. I love denim and I love how, you know, he has all of these prints on there, the good guys print. So I wanted to bring that element, but still make it my own. So when you zoom in and you see this, um, the hammers and a lot of the little different things on here, we changed it. You know, we changed it to have the vulture head on it. But to the untrained eye, you would think it was the same exact print. The other element I wanted to make sure that we touched on and made it a staple on the shoe is the orange for Chucky's hair. So with that, I wanted to make sure that that was my accent color, right? So usually when you do a lot of stuff in design, you always have like an accent color, which is a color you're gonna use to make your, your design pop. So that's your pop color, it's another word for it. So the lining, I have this Napa leather lining and it still has that stash pocket in the back. So the whole inside of the shoe is lined in the orange leather. Then you have your orange leather piping around the whole shoe. We also went with the orange vulture stitching on the back. So the other color, and when I tell you I play with threes, you know, like you, I do a lot of things in threes because I feel like it ties a story together really well if you do it right. So for that color that I tied in with the threes is the red color. So on the back of the shoe, you see the red with the quilted stitching. Then you also have your red wax shoelaces and you have your red sole. So that was the threes. I didn't need to add any more to it. I didn't need to make the piping red. It would have been, to me, overkill. So that's how we brought the red in. Now we have to bring in Chucky himself. Chucky is flesh color. So what did we use for flesh? So I decided to use veg tan leather. So you can see it here on the eye stays. You also have it on the Vulture logo. And then you also have it on the back heel. Once again, threes, right? So the cool thing about this veg tan leather is that over time it will age. So this is uh, gradually get darker as it gets older, you know what I'm saying, that I oxidize. So it'll give it that real grungy look over time. All right. And then last but not least, we still have one element missing from Chucky and that's his striped shirt. For his striped shirt on this shoe, we put it on the toe box. One, side panel two, other side panel three. Still playing with the power of threes, right? But the cool thing, because this is a Halloween shoe, is that this glows in the dark. So this is leather, these stripes, but they actually glow in the dark. So just to give that element of Halloween. And then the most important thing about this shoe that I just wanted to touch on and address is that this shoe is a Halloween shoe, right? This is something that we grew up on, waiting for what Nike's gonna do for Halloween, what's all these other company, what shoe they're gonna bring you know, for the sneakerheads. And um, I've noticed that that has been kind of lackluster over the last few years. So with this shoe, like I've said in all of the videos, is that this shoe, I made this shoe so I can have fun and dig back into my customizer bag. That's what's most important about the shoe is that I'm bringing that art, that storytelling. When you see this shoe, you know, you look, oh, that's Chucky, that's a Chucky shoe. So that, that's, that's why this project was so special to me because I got to tap back into with, you know, my, my origins and, and where I came from, you know. So this Halloween, um, this is one of the releases. We have two others. We have the Freddy versus Jason pack. So the Freddy and Jasons, they come with a squirt bottle and you can squirt blood on the shoe to give it that gory Halloween feeling, right? Then also this shoe comes with a Chucky mask but it's the COVID-19 mask and it's with the same exact print that's on our shoe is the mask. And it says, instead of good guys, it's good shoes. And while we're talking about that, let me bring in the next, 
part of this project. So we have the Chucky Vultures. So as you can see, this is the Vulture version of it. Now this shoe, the stripes glow in the dark. On this shoe, the stripes are reflective. So now when you see this, nobody's gonna be like, oh, that's Chucky. Then they're probably not. This you're gonna know that's Chucky. But this is also be able to be worn all year round because it's just a cool shoe. But it's still telling the story of Chucky. You got your orange, just like that to represent his hair. You got your blue for the denim and your red to pick up all of the red cues off of Chucky. And then the last thing that ties this whole project together that we haven't even mentioned yet. Come on, guys. Is the Chucky box. This is the box both of these shoes come in. And it looks just like the good guy's doll box. Only difference from this box than the box that you're going to get is that this guy won't be here. It'll actually be my son drawn as this guy. So it'll be my son to be on the back of this box. But other than that, that that's it. Like, look, that's how you tell a story, you know? And that's something I wanted to do. Like, I want to make all of these projects just that much more special, you know? I want, I, when I tell a story, I want you to see the story, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to tell that story. And hopefully I'm doing my job as a sneakerhead, customizer, turn designer, Chucky Skates. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the very first episode of Behind the Brand. We appreciate every single one of you. If you're on Instagram and Twitter, we highly encourage you to click the links in our description below and give us a follow. Yeah, I mean, as always, guys, please also remember to subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. It means a ton to us seeing all the new people coming our way. And please also remember to smash the like button. That also means a ton to us, guys. And let us know down in the comments below what you thought about this first episode of our new series. Let us know if you're looking forward to these new shoes by SIA Collective. Let us know if you've known about SIA Collective. Let us know anything you want to let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will catch you in the next one. Loud.